with getting a new camera is you want to go back out to all the locations that you shot before and shoot them all again with your new camera. So that's exactly what I've um, done today. Back along, I came to Ladrum Bay. I'll put the link up here, I think it is somewhere. And uh, I was doing some long exposures with the uh, big stopper. And down in Ladrum Bay near Sidmouth in Devon, there is like these big rocks in the middle of the, uh, in the, middle of the sea and they make for a great subject to just leave standing in the middle of the sea with long exposed waves and clouds and, and just a really simplistic shot. It worked really well in black and white. Um, do check out that video if you haven't done already. And uh, so I thought I'd come back here today. I was out shooting this morning and um, I knew that the weather forecast would be perfect for tonight. So uh, I thought I'd grab the camera bag and get out and shoot what is another one of my favorite locations to shoot. And um, I've set up a composition here, which is a bit different to what I've done here before. Uh, I'm gonna try and get a similar sort of shot like I've done before as well in a minute. On the edge of the cliff, there's like water coming off of bits of the cliff and it's like falling down. And there's um, where the water has been falling for ages. It's like you have growth of like grass and, and um, weeds and stuff. And uh, I've set up just behind it, looking towards the big, we'll call it a rock. And um, I'm doing a long exposure of about 30 seconds with a big stopper on at the moment uh, in a landscape orientation. So it's a bit of a different shot. I don't know if it works. Leave a comment down below and tell me if you think it works or not. And uh, yeah, good to be out again. I've come down towards the, uh, the water's edge, stood um, right in front of this big rock. It must be just from the erosion from like hundreds and thousands of years that it's just been left here in the middle of the sea. Maybe once upon a time it was connected to the actual mainland. But um, yeah, I've come down by the water's edge and set up uh, a composition right in front of it uh, in a portrait orientation. And I really like this composition. It really worked last time. I had a lot of good comments on the image I got last time, which is why I wanted to come back and uh, reshoot with a new camera. And it's good to reshoot locations because every single time you go back to a location, even if you're shooting the same thing, everything is always different. The weather is always different, the clouds are different, the sea is different, and um, it makes for a completely different image in itself. So yeah, right now I have set up a composition looking straight at it, and I have the big stopper on, I am at F11, ISO 64, and I am exposing for five minutes and I just did a test shot of four minutes and ISO 80 or ISO 100, I can't remember. And the sea looked absolutely amazing, completely flat. And um, so I'm just going for a little bit longer because there was a little bit of seaweed and stuff I noticed in the bottom of the last shot and uh, needed to expose for a little bit longer. So this is five minutes. And um, yeah, really, really nice shot. So with Lee filters, uh, Lee filters actually have an app and you can calculate what your shutter speed is prior to putting in the big stopper or the little stopper or the super stopper and uh, tell it what you're exposing for so say if it's a tenth of a second at f11 and um, it will then tell you what you need to be exposing for with the uh, stopper in front of your lens so for me um, this is giving me a five minute exposure which is super long actually which is too long because it's blimmin cold having <laughs> to wait but uh, it gives a really really nice effect so yeah, this is five minutes at F11 ISO 64. Absolutely love that shot. I loved it when I got it with my A6000 and uh, 
I love it even more now with the A7 Mark II. The detail on that rock is just phenomenal. And um, yeah, smoothing out the water for that long really, really makes a difference. Um, being a full frame, you can let it go for longer than I could before with the APS-C. It gets about three or four minutes and um, with the A6000 and it would start to introduce like hot pixels and um, they're a bugger to get rid of when they're all over the uh, all over the picture so um yeah that's all i came down here for today just to get that one shot really um because it's a really really nice composition nice image it's a bit different too and uh yeah so thanks for checking in i hope you guys have liked this one if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please do click that subscribe button give us a like tell us what you think down in the comments and i will see you in the next one bye for now